Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan and welcome to the channel. Now in tonight's presentation, we're gonna be talking about a pandemic favorite. The retail traders push the stock to highs hitting well into the 60s. Now this position is trading just below $8. The stock I'm talking about is NEO. Now I am gonna take a look at several articles, some positive things coming out. Its earnings was two days ago as well, a big announcement coming out today. So positive things in the news realm itself. However, once we jump into the Vector S7 software, you'll see that we're painting a different picture when it comes to this position. So we'll look at NEO both from a swing trading aspect, a short-term play, and a long-term investment. So if this is something that you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. All right, now NEO, also known as the Tesla of China, coming out with its earnings as of yesterday. Investors seem to be pretty amped up. The stock is up since then. As this article, you can see here up 4% based on the earnings report alone. Now this was a very important earnings report because Tesla at the beginning of the year has started a price war when it comes to the electric vehicle space. So let's dive in, look at the numbers and see how NEO has matched up. We can see here the revenue coming in at 19.1 billion compared to 19.4 billion yen. Therefore the revenue was a little bit lower than expectations. However, the loss per share does come in lower than expected at 2.67 compared to the 2.91 expected loss. So that is important to see this company going to the path of profitability. In addition, look at the revenue rising 47% year over year. Now investors are focused on the Chinese electric car maker's ability to be more disciplined in its spending as it charts a path to profitability. Now the next article will go into just that. Now, as we mentioned that path to profitability, NEO is taking a major step to do just that. This morning, actually, it did just announce rumor coming out confirmed by Reuters that NEO is to spin off a battery unit. Now, it did state in the article here that it plans to spin off its battery manufacturing unit as part of efforts by the company to turn profitable, reduce cost, and improve efficiency. Now, as I go through this article here, a couple things I do wanna highlight. Again, this spinoff highlights NEO's drive to achieve profitability. Now, previously it stated involved in-house development and production of certain batteries while outsourcing the rest of suppliers, similar to Tesla's approach. Now, this potential spinoff doesn't have a valuation on it yet. In addition to that, it's potentially to happen before year end. All right, now the last article I have here, China adds NEO to list of approved vehicle manufacturers. That's right, looks like NEO's trying to cut out the middleman. If I scroll down here, the article, you could see that since 2018, it has partnered with JAC Automobile Group to produce electric vehicles on a contract basis. This would be really huge for NEO if they were able to actually produce their own vehicles, reducing costs, and increasing their margins. Now, especially that Tesla is trying to offer these electric vehicles cheaper and cheaper. Now, as I go through this article, I'm realizing that JAC has two factories that makes NEO vehicles. So this would give the ability to NEO to actually purchase and start manufacturing in-house. All right, after looking at its earnings, some of the articles surrounding NEO, and looking at this company's path to profitability, let's dive in and actually see what the Vector S7 system has to say. Now, if we take a look here, NEO up 10% today, big day. Like I said, a lot of news coming out positive when it comes to this position. Currently trading just over $8 at $8.11. We value it at only $1.03. So by our metrics, this company is greatly overvalued. And that's my biggest concern right now. Now, fundamentally speaking, with RV and RS, again, these indicators from RV to VST are on a zero to two scale. Above one is favorable, below one is unfavorable. Now, RV and RS, these, these are our fundamental indicators here. Very poor ratings here. RV coming at 0 0.15, looking at long-term price appreciation potential and the safety rating at 0.59, so a very risky position. Even looking at its RT, this is a technical indicator, looking at the magnitude of its short-term price trend at a 0.8, we can see that trend is to the downside right now and has magnitude behind it itself. Now, if we look, its overall master indicator at 0.61, not a good rating. It's got a, currently a hold rating right now. If we scroll over here, we see its CI, its ability to resist lengthy or severe price declines, very low, so I'm seeing that this stock has been on the decline now for quite some time at a rating of 0.26. Its growth rate in earnings, negative 6%. Its EPS currently negative right now. Now, if we look over here, the one thing I did wanna see was the GRT. If we look at the sales growth rate, GRT here, negative 20. So I was looking at that revenue up over 47% year over year from its earnings report. However, just going forward, we're looking at the sales right now. Again, this is forecasted sales here at negative 20%. 
Now let's jump into the chart. Now here's NEO over the last five years. You can see pre-pandemic levels here. Back before 2020, the stock was around seven, eight dollars. However, retail traders pushing it up during the pandemic here, reaching highs well into the 60s. However, since then, price action been on the decline. Right now, it's currently trading at eight dollars and just 15 cents. So let's zoom in here. Here we have price action over the last six months. You can see a buy rating not given by the Vectorvest 7 software here. However, from a short-term play, you can see price action. If we zoom into a one-month time span, breaking above this 20-day exponential moving average here, a good strong day. We're seeing buyers take the lead here. Very little wick at the top. In addition to that, the three exponential moving average is greater than the eight-day exponential moving average. The crossover just occurred two days ago here. So from a swing trading perspective, this has great momentum to the upside right now. But just realize with our relative safety and some of our other fundamental indicators that this stock is not fundamentally sound. For example, if I add the valuation here, we can see the value coming at just $1.03. So let's just look at the last five years here. We can see price action back here, that low at $1.19, very close to our valuation metrics. However, since the pandemic, Traders has pushed NEO into overvalued territory. One thing I don't like with price action going down, our valuation actually has gone down in the same process over the last few months here. And let's take a look at some forecasting data and changes to a one year time span. Here we can see that the sales growth rate here, the company's ability to grow its sales is on the decline, actually finishing right now at negative 20%. In addition, look at its GRT, its ability to grow its earnings. Now this is forecasted data coming in at negative 6%. However, the only thing positive right now, EPS to the upside since September of 2023. However, it is lower year over year. All right, VV Nation, we went through the news, the headlines, the VectorVest 7 software. Now that being said, when it comes to Neil, I see potential as a short-term momentum play to the upside right now, as long as these moving averages stay in our favor and the market continues to rise. Now as a long-term play right now, this company is severely overvalued with a lot of its forecasted data not painting a very pretty picture. Now with an RS relative safety rating below one, this is not for the lighthearted or more conservative investor. Now with this all being said, I hope you found this video informative and points you in the right direction to make money. Now, as always, if you like what you saw here, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Till the next time. Hey, VB Nation, the New Year's is fastly approaching, and you know what that means? Our flagship event is almost here. Our Tampa Two Day will be January 5th and 6th. To register for this live stream, just simply go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash stream. Now, a couple benefits that you get for attending this is our all new ETF trading system that is designed to outperform fixed income assets by threefold. Now, in addition to that, you will get full access to the live broadcast, world stock class, market education, a digital copy of the official course workbook and a hundred dollar voucher to be utilized for VectorVest coaching groups and educational services. So make sure you join the heavy hitters such as Ray Clark, Jim Penna, Jerry D'Ambrosio, Ron Wheeler, and Glenn Tompkins for the 2024 Tampa Two Day Investment Seminar.